Are you thinking of moving to Quakertown, Pennsylvania? Or are you already living in Quakertown and want to find out more about it? Stick around and hear my top 10 things that are great about Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Welcome back everyone. I'm Michael Graham, a real estate agent at Berkshire Hathaway Fox and Roach. I'm going to tell you my top 10 things that are great about Quakertown. Click the link in the description to get a PDF version of this list. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's get to the list. First up on the list is location. Quakertown is strategically situated in between Philadelphia and the Allentown Bethlehem area. Allentown and Bethlehem are only 16 miles to the north, and Philadelphia is only 47 miles to the south. That means if you don't want to live in the city, but want to live close to one, perhaps for work or family, then Quakertown is a great choice. Also, the Poconos are about an hour away. You can get to the New Jersey beach in under two hours, and New York City is also less than two hours away. And if driving isn't your thing, Quakertown has an airport. No international flights, though. Number two, history. I love learning about all kinds of things history-wise. Quakertown is full of history. During our country's fight for independence, the Liberty Bell was removed from Philadelphia before the British occupied the city. It was concealed here, behind what is now known as Liberty Hall, on its way to be hidden in Allentown. John Fry's Rebellion began here in 1799, to protest the fact that taxes were being collected. Richard Moore, an abolitionist, had a house here in Quakertown that he made into a safe house for escaped slaves on the Underground Railroad. He assisted about 600 slaves to escape to freedom. When the North Penn Railroad was built in 1856, the surveyors refused to lay its track through the village, but they drew a line a mile eastward. A settlement grew up by the station. So over the years, the town grew together from both ends. There is a walking tour that you can do that highlights important buildings throughout Quakertown. Number three is healthcare. In downtown Quakertown, there is a St. Luke's Hospital. Its ER is closed, but there is a brand new hospital just down the street on the other side of Route 309. It's bigger and better. Also in town is a Lehigh Valley Health Network facility. To get your prescriptions, there is a CVS and a Rite Aid, as well as a local pharmacy. Number four is education. Quakertown has its own elementary school, which houses grades K through five. The sixth graders get their own school. Grades seven and eight are across town, and the high school is right downtown. U.S. News and World Report recently ranked Quakertown High School in the top 10% of all of America's high schools. Major athletic fields connect the high school and the sixth grade school. And the football stadium is practically across the street, right in the middle of town. The public library has a great interlibrary loan system. Check out the free e-services. Once you get your library card, you will be amazed at what they have to offer. Number five, recreation. Nearby is Lake Nakamixon, which has 5,286 acres, four public boat launches, a marina, camping, three miles of hiking trails, and 20 miles of equestrian trails. That's a lot to offer. Other nearby parks include Ringing Rocks Park to the northeast of Quakertown, which is within a 30-minute drive. Peace Valley Park towards the southeast, again, under 30 minutes away. And Green Lane Park to the southwest, about 25 minutes away. In town, there is a YMCA, popular for swimming and other sports. There are indoor tennis courts and a great little yoga studio called Moondog Yoga. Other areas of interest include a public pool, skate park, and ice skating rink. Number six is shopping. Lots of conveniences here in Quakertown, and there is something for everybody. I love this three ring digital billboard right on Route 309. Perhaps one of the most iconic features of Quakertown is the gigantic farmer's market, affectionately called the Q Mart. It's open year round on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. There are 120 vendors inside and up to 400 outdoor vendors. You can find new and used merchandise to collectibles, to food, and even pets. It's really a unique experience. New in town is the Trolley Barn, 
featuring an indoor year-round marketplace with food from local farmers and local food entrepreneurs. There is also an outdoor seating area. There is signs 5 and 10, an old-fashioned 5 and 10 complete with a soda fountain. They serve breakfast, lunch, ice cream, and have all kinds of dry goods and gifts. Also downtown is Moyer Shoes, a family shoe store that's been there since 1952. There's a Walmart, Target, Kohl's, Staples, Home Goods, Best Buy, PetSmart, Petco, and many others. For the DIYer and crafter, there's Michaels, Joanne, Lowe's, and Harbor Freight Tools. There are even several antique stores in town. Number seven is dining. Just as there are lots of shopping options in Quakertown, there are also lots of dining options here too. Right downtown is McCool's, billed as the place for a fine dining experience for a casual dining budget. Across town is the Proper Brewing Company, a brewery and restaurant in the Old Palace Theater. Pretty cool. The Farmer and the Chickpea is a new restaurant in town making artisan meals and tends to lean to the European style. If you're into vegetarian dining, then Clean Roots will fit the bill with a casual experience. If you prefer the chain experience, there are plenty of those options too. Applebee's, Panera, Friday's, Chick-fil-A, and others. Quakertown also offers up some ethnic food too, like Fiesta Habanero, Eastern Dragon, they serve Chinese and Japanese food, Tijuana Tacos, and Green Chili Indian Cuisine. Number eight is the arts. The arts always inject some vibrancy and creativity into an area. The Univest Performance Center opened in 2015. It can accommodate 2,500 people or more. Some notable performers set to take the stage this year are the Marshall Tucker Band and the Beach Boys. I mentioned McCool's before for dining, but they also have an arts and event place. On the corner of Juniper and Front Street is Art Z, which is a vibrant arts center that provides a safe haven for self-expression and has art classes. There are several art galleries in town and well-known sculptor Steve Tobin has his studio in Quakertown. Number nine are the neighborhoods. As Quakertown grows, so too do the number of neighborhoods. There is downtown, of course, which is laid out grid style, similar to Philadelphia. The newer neighborhoods, however, aren't designed on the grid like the main part of town. They are more organic and take into consideration the natural landscape. Number 10 is the beautiful countryside. If you drive just outside of Quakertown, you can take yourself on a few self-guided tours of the area. One of these takes you to several covered bridges. The Bucks County Chamber of Commerce developed a map that you can use to find these wonderful covered bridges. There is also a stone house tour and a barn voyage barn tour. All of these will get you out and about to see the beautiful countryside of Bucks County. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 list of great things about Quakertown. I know it was a lot, but if you are planning to move to Quakertown, just know that you have everything you need here to make your life pretty great. That's all for now. See you next time.